Right, I I can't remember the name of this park, but we're in a public park next to the Beck Theatre in Hayes in London. There's this lovely big pond area, and there are turtles. There are actually, we've seen two now. There's, hang on, there's another one poking its head up there. There are actually turtles. And there's one, look, can you, can you see the markings on its face? And they're not ornaments, because they're... They're moving around independently. Like one keeps diving and coming. There it's diving, there you go, look. I'm gobsmacked. This is amazing. If this if this was in Lancaster, they'd have so been stolen by now. Hang on. It's gone a bit blurry that. There, uh, that's better. Can you see it? Unbelievable. I've always wanted to talk to you as a pet. So I found a sign with the name in the gardens. It's the Norman Leddy Memorial Gardens and they're in Hayes, West London, not far from Uxbridge. Right, I'm still in the uh, is it Norman Leddy Memorial Park in Hayes, West London and look at the signs of this fig tree. Oh, are they trying to make me jealous? There's actually figs. There's actually figs on it. Oh my word. I've been struggling with that little fig in my backyard. You see, I, 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 I'm guessing here, I'm surmising, is it? But we do say London has a bit of a microclimate. It stays a lot warmer because it's a city. So that could be why this fig's doing ever so well. It's just there against a, a wall. Wow, I'm impressed with that. Some of these figs look amazing. You see any more that are close to the camera, easy to point out for you. There's a silhouette of one, hang on, just above my finger. I hope you can make these out. Very impressive. Right, let's go exploring. There's a, an arboretum area and all sorts of different trees. Some of them have got signs at the bottom, but to be honest, it doesn't tell you what the species is. It's um, in memory of certain people, people that have had plaques put to remember a loved one. So I don't know what I'm looking at, to be honest with you, a lot of these trees. But what there is, is this bad boy, which I'm 99% certain is a Trachycarpus fortunae Chusun palm or windmill palm it's also known as and to grow this tall from what I understand of these plants takes a long time if you were to buy one this size because of all the love a garden centre would have had to put into it to, to get it to this kind of maturity um, it would cost you an absolute fortune so I can only guess about how much this one's worth but um, it's looking a bit haggard on quite a lot of the tips, but it has been exceptionally hot and dry in the UK for easily more than a month now. So hopefully we'll, we'll get a bit of rain and it'll, uh, it'll give this plant what it needs. Yeah. Let's hang on, let's try and go all arty and if I get some silhouettes, it'll look like we're in a jungle. There we are, look. I put this photograph on my Instagram account. If you're not already following it, please go and have a look for it if you're on Instagram. It's also called Petals on the Paving Slabs. Right, I need your help, people. Um, there's a tree here with some sort of fruit on it and I'm not quite sure what they are. I don't think they're cherries. I don't think they are. So I'll show you the fruit there and you can see the leaves. That's what the leaves look like. See, there's, there's clusters, clusters of the fruits. And then the bark of the tree, if this helps you identify, that's what the bark looks like. What does the sign say? Oh, it's in loving memory of somebody. Um, look, there's, there's another one of the fruits. So help me out, guys. If you know what this is, please leave a comment. Let me know. Wow, how tropical does that look? I really want to fill my backyard full of palm trees now. 
So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a like and better still, subscribe. Thanks, guys.